Today, many LSU students are rallying together to get a French professor moved from campus. This comes after many noticed the professor would still be teaching months after a sexual assault lawsuit was filed against her and LSU. In the studio to tell us more is Tiger TV reporter Alain Valadieso. In October 2021, LSU removed Adelaide Russo from her position as French department chair in response to her alleged involvement in the lawsuit. But as of right now, Russo is still scheduled to continue teaching in the classroom this fall. As scheduling remains underway, I found out why students and campus groups are calling for her removal. LSU professor Adelaide Russo reportedly knew of sexual assault charges and complaints against a French grad student and did not report these complaints. Allegedly, Russo's actions allowed grad student Edouard de Espelanderos to continue to work with students and hold a position in the French club, according to club member Carson Gagliano. Yeah, Edward was very much a part of the club. It was obvious that he was the president and he was very high up in, um, in any French club efforts and chain of command. De Espelung reportedly fled to France, but a civil suit against Rousseau is still being investigated. Rousseau is currently the only instructor option for one of the French courses, meaning some of her and De Espelung's alleged victims may have to take her class. TASA Secretary Mia Macaluso says this shouldn't happen. I don't think it's too big of a demand for LSU to put in another teacher, especially because obviously to graduate she has to take the class, which means other graduating seniors have to take the class. Some LSU students and campus groups have started a petition calling for the removal of Dr. Russo, saying they understand she cannot be terminated until the civil suit against her is complete, but she shouldn't be in the classroom. For Tiger TV News, I'm Alon Valdivieso. Six students are currently enrolled in Russo's 4,000 level course. In a statement made to Tiger TV, LSU Media Relations say they do not believe there are sufficient grounds to take additional punitive steps. And if students do not wish to take a class with Russo, the college can work with them to find an alternative. You can read the full statement at tigertv.tv.